Women are emotional. They are hooked on emotions. That's why a lot of times you'll see a woman still being in an abusive relationship after she has, you know, broken up with a partner a couple of times. I can comprehend. No, what you don't understand, Nate, is I am crazier. And maybe you've been, been in that position where you are breaking up with a girl and you make it extremely emotional and get try to get back with her. And it's pretty easy because women are hooked on emotions. It's almost like a drug to them. That's one of the reasons you'll also see the beauty and the beast concept, which is, you know, a guy who's not that good looking, a guy who does not have that much value to offer it's in, in terms of materialistic things things will still be with a very attractive girl and you might be thinking I'm sure this guy has a lot of money I'm sure he has his life together I'm sure he's offering a lot of materialistic things maybe this guy is offering her a lot of money and the reality is that guy is not offering her any materialistic things maybe he's not taking out for lunches maybe he cannot afford to buy her gifts but you might think otherwise because you know why would a beautiful girl like this be with a guy like that now the thing the reality is that he's offering her a wide range of emotions a wide range of emotions now guys understand I'm not saying just positive emotions because in a relationship in an interaction there might be you know ups and downs where you're offering her positive emotions as well as some negative emotions but he's offering her a wide range of emotions and to make you understand this clearer funny enough I was talking to a friend about this and he, he gave me the analogy of a roller coaster versus train all right it's a five minute roller coaster ride is much more exciting for a person it's much more exhilarating and apart from that a 10 hour train ride is just kind of boring it's just kind of boring and you don't look forward to a train ride but you look forward to a five minutes roller coaster ride and by that I just mean that there's a lot of turns twists spins on the roller coaster you might not always feel happy but you're always engaged but for the train ride it's just a plain train ride you know going from point A to point B and you might not be engaged at all over there so you have to understand that a woman wants an emotional roller coaster not a train and most guys interaction is that like a train and guys as we know women are more emotional creatures that means they're not focusing on the content or not on what you're saying but how you're saying it and how you're making them feel so today we're going to be talking about three kinds of emotion that if you make a woman feel she will not only go crazy after you she will also chase you how do you use them Now, the first thing is women generally love overcoming a challenge. And guys, this is to anyone who's in abundance, whether it's men or women. If you're a guy who has a lot of girls, you will always look for a challenge. But if you're a woman, women, they have a lot of options generally. So they will always be attracted more towards overcoming a challenge because everything is so easy for them that they want a guy to be different. So be a challenge, be a challenge to her, be a challenge that she has to win over. Because if you're always available to her, if you're always on call with her, if you're calling her multiple times a day and you're asking her, hey, how's your day going? What are you doing? And all of that, you're not a challenge and if you're not a challenge you'll fall into 99% of the other men who are texting her who are buzzing her phone who are texting her on Instagram who are meeting her outside and guys you don't really want to do that you want to be the challenge that she overcomes alright person that she has to win over so try to be that person rather than being always available the second emotion guys if you're able to master this this will help you build a lot of massive attraction real fast and that is just building curiosity now I see a lot of guys who are you know getting into an interaction as soon as they get the number they start talking to the girl they start sharing everything about themselves. They start sharing everything and they start putting all the baggage on women. But you have to understand that that makes a guy more predictable. Also, he does not have that mysterious all around him. So if you really want a woman to think about you constantly, if you really want her to obsess over you, and if you're able to build curiosity, guys, she will obsess over you. She will be constantly thinking about you and thinking about you definitely means that it's much more easier to take that interaction to an intimate direction. So be a little mysterious. Don't share everything as soon as you get on a call with her, as soon as you go on the first date. Don't share everything because you don't need a woman to complete you you have to understand that sharing is good but oversharing is bad and if you really want to know how to build the right curiosity go to the pinned comment click on the link and download our free ebook which is beyond small talk that'll really help you understand more about this concept the last emotion is probably the most important emotion in an interaction and that is intimacy guys once you're intimate with a woman definitely she's going to be thinking more about you than if you're just a platonic friend and what i see today you know a lot of beginners who are going out to game they miss out on this point and guys you have to understand that the girl will not obsess over you until and unless you have been intimate with her because if you are just a platonic friend she's not going to think about you all the time she's not going to be obsessed over you so you as the man have to take the responsibility of leading that interaction into an intimate direction and guys for this I see a lot of beginners going out and approaching girls and these are the few things that are missing in their interactions maybe it's missing in your interaction as well is basically making the conversation more man to woman and by that I mean you have to make the girl understand that you're attracted to her and you have to be non-apologetic about your attraction also when you're talking to her she should 
intuitive sense that you really desire her. Not in a creepy way, but in a way that you really are interested in her. And how do you do this? You have to show intent. You literally have to show intent in every interaction because if you don't show that intent, if that intent is missing, it's just a normal platonic conversation which will end up going nowhere. Another thing you can do is play with your non-verbal communication. And what I mean by non-verbal communication is your eye contact, your body language, your facial expressions. And if you add all of this with your verbal game, it's basically flirting. Hey, you know where's the McDonald's? Are you sure or you just don't want to tell me? Is this something that you're hiding? Wow, that's pretty nice. You're kind of cute. Now, the thing is that indirect and direct doesn't really matter. If I can go highly indirect, but if I'm very direct with my non-verbal communication, my eye contact, my deep voice tonality, taking pauses, playing with my facial expressions, you can basically make anything flirtatious. So if you like the video and you think it helps you improve your dating life, do comment below. I would love to know if there's any more topics you guys would want me to talk about. Apart from that, guys, do subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the field.